Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some commonly asked adventitious breath sounds, including some need to know key points. We shall be talking about V's, then crepitations, then strider, plural rub, and most importantly, bronchial breathing. So be sure to stick around right till the end of the video. Do pause and listen to the character of the breath sounds with the headphones on. First up is the V's, which sounds like this. Now this is a high pitched sound heard in expiration. It's due to the fluttering of the narrowed airways in the phase of expiration and is commonly heard in your patients of asthma and COPD. The patient will be adopting a tripod position during an exacerbation and will be too breathless to talk. So for the management of this patient, you will be giving formeterol with budesonide as per the GINA 2021-22 guidelines. Use of Saba alone has shown higher chances of mortality. However, for COPD, you shall be using Lama that is Teotropium or Ipatropium. The mnemonic that you can use here, well, I don't like mnemonics, but anyway, for the first time, FBI, that would be Formetrol, Budesonide and Ipratropium. The MCQ will say monophonic fixed V's is seen in. You will notice that in asthma, the V's is heard in the phase of expiration and is polyphonic. Polyphonic would mean having a variable intensity. But in this question, I specifically mentioned monophonic fixed V's, which is going to be heard both in inspiration as well as expiration. Well, the answer would be lung cancer, which would be an endobronchial mass causing a physical obstruction of the airways. Next up are crepitations, which are also called as crackles, and this is how they sound. Now to mimic the character of crepitations, I would like you to raise your hand, touch your hair, and then rub your hair between your thumb and the index finger. The sound will be identical to the one that is produced with respect to crepitations. And they can be of two varieties. Either they could be fine crepitations or they could be coarse crepitations. When it comes to the coarse crepitations, the sound will be identical to like somebody separating a Velcro tape. The exam hack, however, can be that sometimes in questions, he can introduce the word late inspiratory crackles with the reduced FEV1. This is a very characteristic feature that you encounter in patients of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is an important subtype of interstitial lung disease. Fine crepitations are commonly going to be seen in patients of pulmonary edema, which is fluid in the alveoli, or they can be heard even due to pneumonia. Now for treatment of pulmonary edema, we shall be going in for LMNOP, G's, another mnemonic, Lasix, Morphine, Nitrates, which are going to reduce the preload and the afterload and reduce the load on the heart, Oxygen and a positioning of the patient that is called as high Fowler position. Next up is Trider, which is a medical emergency and it sounds like this. As you can notice, it is a high-pitched inspiratory sound that can occur due to laryngotracheobronchitis or also called as croup in children or most importantly after thyroid surgery. The exam hack that I would like you to remember here will begin by saying post-total thyroidectomy or a post-parathroid surgery, there's a strider occurring in a patient and what does it indicate? It indicates a development of a tension hematoma at the surgical site which is compressing on the airways and this is definitely a medical emergency. However, if he mentions regarding laryngotracheobronchitis, then for management, you would have to give racemic epinephrine nebulization. Next lined up is the pleural friction rub which sounds like this. The sound of rubbing of stones against each other and this is due to the inflammation of the pleura. The exam hack that I would like to remember here would be the question will say which auscultatory finding indicates worsening of a case of pneumonia. 
your answer would be pleural friction rub for management of this patient you would be reevaluating the curb 65 score of the patient and decide whether the patient would be requiring a inpatient or maybe icu based care or would it require or necessitate a change of antibiotics finally lined up is the most important finding bronchial breathing and this is how it sounds It can be heard normally over manubrium sternae or posteriorly over the spine between C7 to T3 vertebra. It has a inspiratory expiratory ratio of 1 is to 2 with a clear audible gap. It is seen in cases of lobar pneumonia and you can notice in the x-ray a very characteristic right middle zone pneumonia producing a sell out sign. A additional finding that can be heard in patients of lobar pneumonia is called as egophony. Ego basically here means not the ego that we have, but we are talking about a goat. It means that there would be a distortion of the vowel sounds and therefore the sounds will appear more nasal in character like alphabet E will be sounding like alphabet A. So when I say A, it would be like bleating of a goat. So keep the pressure on guys, keep hammering and keep on learning new new things every day and more things you learn will make you more wiser. Thank you so much for your patience and hearing me out.